Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm a Christian, a child of God. Today's Sunday. It's uh, December the 19th, 2021. Uh, it's a blessed day. Uh, we're in here. We're here in the great state of the natural state of Arkansas. Uh, too blessed to stress. I wasn't able to make it to church today on this on this Sunday on God's day. Um, but I've just kind of cracked open my Bible and I was going to read a, a little bit of, of the, out of the good book. And I thought uh, I thought I'd share it with you and we could uh, have a moment with God and kind of partake in his word. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to read. Um, I think today I, I really just thought about original sin, uh, the concept of sin and how sin came to be, how sin, how sin came in the world, uh, came into the world. And so I'm going to read uh, from Genesis 3. Um, I'm going to read a little bit about, you know, the original sin, uh, how sin came to be, and, uh, and, just, and just have some fellowship and have a, have a little church time. Just, just, you know, just I'm here by myself, so it's uh, going to be just me and you. I hope that, uh, hope that you want to listen along. So without further ado, Genesis 3. Now the serpent was more crafty than, other, than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, quote, Did God actually say, You shall not eat of any uh, tree in the garden? Unquote. And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, quote, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Unquote. But the serpent said to the woman, you will, you will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be, be, be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord, of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God ca called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, quote, The woman who you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is it that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all lives, livestock and above all beasts of the field on your belly you shall go and dust you shall eat all the days of your life i will put eternity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring he shall bruise your head and you shall you shall bruise his heel to the woman he said i will surely multiply your pain in childbearing in pain you shall bring forth children your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you and to adam he said because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, and you are dust, and to the dust you shall return." The man called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. And the Lord God made for Adam and for his, or, and his wife garments of skins and clothed them. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us in knowing good and evil. Now, lest he reach out his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore, the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden to work, to the, to work the ground for which he was taken. He drove out the man and at at the east of the Garden of Eden, he placed the cherub, uh, cherubim and a flaming sword that turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. 
So as you can see, God's word is telling us here exactly how sin was conceived into the world. We were born of sinless nature. Then came woman. Woman was deceived by, by the devil himself. And then manipulated her husband. And for that we live in a life of sin and suffering. It's a valuable lesson. Men should take, should take heed of this. Do not be manipulated by females. Do not be manip manipulated by women. Be strong. Trust your gut. Trust your instinct. And first and foremost, trust God. He has the answers to everything. This book has the answers to everything you need to know in life. And it's clearly written. And it's not about your feelings. It's about the truth, the life, and the way. Blessed be to God. All glory to God. All good comes from God. God bless.